some signings, Brian Borrows from Coventry City and Chris Casper from Manchester United. And Darren Bullock began the game in midfield in the absence of the injured Scott Leach. We join commentator Peter Brackley in the first half. Here's Gemmell. Johnson ahead of him. Support two from Thomas, who has Rogers to his left. Thomas again. Then Gemmell. Little in space to his right. Played in for Johnson. Still Andy Johnson. Now Rogers. Three in the middle. Trying to pick it to the near post. And there's a Digby. It's got his hand to it. Corner to Forrest. I thought he spotted an opening there. It was covered by the Swindon keeper. Here's Bart Williams, sliding it on for Campbell. I'm sure Campbell and Saunders will have one eye on the bench throughout the game, wondering when Van Hoydock might be brought on in place of one of them. Oh, lovely run here by Corobo. Terrific burst by the Frenchman. That's it, won't keep that in. It's gone behind for a corner. He certainly does deserve that, if not more. Gooden, teasing Little, in goes Hay. No best at first to respond. Steve McMahon, who I don't think we've been playing too often this season, he says it's too painful for him. His back goes every time. Johnson, had a bit too much space then. For Swindon's liking. He wasn't closed down, Andy Johnson. Will be very anxious to make an impression today, having been left out for recent games former Norwich man look at the room he had here but wide of goal Dallas to Casper oh, he was challenged then by Campbell off goes Bart Williams terrific save by Fraser Digby and that was all down to some rather hesitant and shoddy defending by Chris Casper the man on loan at the county ground Bart Williams striding purposefully forward. And Digby, good enough to make the save. Ben Little. Whose place might be under threat if Dave Bassett goes for a back three and then wing backs. McDonald. Of course, Colin Cooper will be available again soon for Forrest. His way back from injury. This is Cuervo. Dave Besson was a long way out of his goal then. And I think if he made a more positive connection there, it might well have been a goal. Darras, who'd seen the run of Cuervo, and look where Besant is there. Dean McDonald is checking the run of Chattel. Hit him by Helder, then Campbell. Shot charged down. Helder couldn't keep it down. Chances there for Forrest. Bart Williams with the free kick. They've all seemed to have missed this. That's Helder. Back off Bullock. And he charges down the effort from Campbell. And then Helder spending his opportunity to score for Forrest. The elder who has got a couple of goals in the League Cup. That would have been his first in the league. Well, it's a pretty open game. There's not much between the two. Prize perhaps closer to a goal. Chettle. Bart Williams. Now it's Little. Needs a good ball in here. Thomas! Well, it was a super run into the box from Jeff Thomas. A powerful header, but not quite for the accuracy to beat Fraser Digby. Came surging in then, Thomas. Now, how quickly can Forrest spring forward here? Little setting off on a run. Still Gemmell. Rogers. Rogers going for goal. A might ambitious, perhaps. 
And one or two disapproving looks, I think, from his colleagues. They have plenty in the box then, Forrest. But he's let fly Alan Rogers. Chris Hay, then Bullock. He's pretty fearsome in the tackle, which made up for his poor first touch. A foot beside that from Johnson. And the referee will have to step in here before matters get totally out of hand. Johnson was certainly at fault then. He lunged into the tackle in a dangerous fashion. You'll see here, and that was unnecessary on Ty Gooden. There's a lot of activity in there. McDonald! Well, he hit it away from goal. He'll be very disappointed there, Alan McDonald. Having got his header in, to then angle it wide of goal, it surely was a really good opportunity for the former Irish international. Out wide is Bart Williams. Cheers. Now Rogers. Oh, it's a good ball. Campbell arriving at the far post, claiming it was a handball by McDonald. But receiving no sympathy from the referee. It was hard to spot from my view here. But Campbell seemed adamant that it struck the arm of McDonald. Let's see it again now. Rogers with the cross. And it didn't look there as if an arm maybe was stretched out by McDonald. Swindon using the width of the park. Here's Cuervo. Played in for Allison. Wayne Allison, who turned very sharply. He is very adept at doing that. Cuervo intelligently playing the ball in for Wayne Allison. And he set himself up, but couldn't keep the shot down. Bessant organising the wall and is not happy with its positioning for the moment. Here's Bullock. Came towards yeah. McDonald. A little flick. It was Casper who just helped it on after McDonald's initial header. Bullock's free kick attacked by McDonald. Bessant did well here. Just about held on. Moros, a rare mistake. Van Hoydok! Forcing Digby into the save. Well, he hasn't made too many mistakes in this game, Brian Moros, but that one could have been very costly. No hesitation from Van Hoydok. Armstrong, Van Hoydok. He might be in here, the Dutchman, for Kevin Campbell. Boros was covering. Oh, the century on duty there, Brian Boros. And some very relieved Swindon faces around him. Well, Campbell beating Fraser Digby, but Brian Boros had anticipated his intentions. There goes the final whistle. So it's the point of peace from a goal is short in the county ground.